Hey guys, my name's Vicky and thanks so much for watching this video. I'm a little bit of a hot mess right now. I'm not going to complain about the weather. It's beautiful, but it's a bit glowy. Let's just say that. This is my June and July favourites, as the title might suggest to you. I didn't actually get around to filming a June favourites this year. I was busy. I went on holiday and we did some decorating in the house. So I kind of just ran out of time a little bit. But I haven't got too much, but I definitely got some firm favourites. So I'm happy to share them. There's makeup, there's skincare, and there's a little bit of fashion I've been enjoying and a little bit of the TV and all the usual favourites for this type of video. So first I want to talk about a little bit of makeup. I have three eye crayons here, eye pencils, whatever you like to call them. They are long lasting eyeshadows basically. I've got two from Kiko and one from Maybelline. Now I've probably talked about this one from Kiko in the past because I had this one first. Um, it's just their long lasting eyeshadow stick. This is in the shade 05. I don't know if you can see the colouring there. Um, and because I like this one so much, I went in and bought 39. So 39 is the new one that I want to talk to you about. And it's more of a grey, a lovely kind of charcoal grey. They've all got a little bit of a shimmer to them, but they just blend on. Look, let me just show you how easy easy that is to apply and I just love them because they do last all day and you literally can just draw a little bit on wherever you want it on your eye be it as an eyeliner or an eyeshadow and just blend it all in with your finger or a nice little dense eyeshadow brush and they just blend beautifully I'll just show you the other shade the first one that I had tried out it's not a lot different it's the one at the top it looks still sort of roughly from the same kind of color palette but it is a little bit more of a lighter. There's kind of more rosy purples in that one. As you can see, God, it's really glistening there. But they blend so nicely, but um, they're creamy. So that's why they blend. But they don't sort of fall off your face. They stay, but there is a little bit of sparkle. So you might sort of have that slightly sort of rough, almost slept in eye by the end of the day, which I really appreciate. So the Maybelline one is a shade called Moonlight Purple. And it is just an absolutely beautiful, this one here, kind of like a lilac-y lavender with a beautiful shimmery shift to it. And because I chose, they, I think they did a pink one. I wasn't too sure about pink because I've got blue eyes. And sometimes putting pink on anywhere around my eyes can just accentuate them looking tired. And if they are tired, they're a bit bloodshot and they all just look a little bit wrong. So I went for the sort of the purpley lavendery shade because you can build it up or you can keep it quite subtle. You can do that little top liner just along your top eyelid there, just like as a one swipe. So it looks like a really fine eyeliner and it's beautiful. Or you can just sort of, again, smudge it in like the other eyeliners. And you just get a really diffused kind of like a light it can kind of turn to that sort of gray hue if you know what I mean it's got that shift because of the purple tone of it it's really creamy so the pencil be it a thin little pencil it does crumble sometimes but you know just with a gentle hand it's fine but it just blends really nicely if you just want to put a sort of a wash of a lilac-y lavender shade on your eyelid but you don't want that stark line, which is really cool, but sometimes you just want to blend it in for a little bit more of a smudgy eye. So I'm just really loving all of the shimmer at the moment. I think I must be having a little bit of a moment with Kiko because I'm also really, really enjoying this lips and cheek pencil. I've got the shade 02, that's the color. And there it is, if you can see. Um, let me pop it down here. And yes, it looks quite strong. And yes, it looks quite red. It's almost like a soft raspberry red, which is what I really like because it sits really nicely. You just literally, literally, I'm not going to do it because I think because of the heat, my blush is looking a little bit. <laughs> anyway, we'll ignore that. So I'm not going to put any more on, but literally you just dab a few little pieces on the around the cheek area where you want to add your blush and you just blend it all in. 
blend it all in with your finger you can add to it sometimes it does need to be built up it is quite sheer to start with it just depends on how much you want on the day and then it's just beautiful to add this to your lips as well it's kind of quite mattifying almost it just it is a cream product so there is some sort of dewiness to it and it looks lovely on your cheeks um, but when you pop it on your lips you can kind of blend it in and just sort of pat it and rub it and blend it and it just goes quite mattifying um, and it just leaves you with that really sort of chic stain that's really cool without looking too glossy and dewy because the rest of the face is doing all that to us sometimes it's nice to keep the lips just a little bit more muted and kind of like your lip color but better and that's what i'm really enjoying about that one so h&m like a lot of the high street is having their sales at the moment and i made the most of it they were selling off a lot of their makeup for two or three pounds and i picked up this little eyeshadow palette with nine eyeshadows this one's called smoky nudes it's got a beautiful perfect size mirror there to do your makeup and nine absolutely stunning shades Yes, they're nudes, but they're smoky nudes. And we've got a mix there of shimmers and more of a glitter tone. That one there in the middle, the sort of cold gold, shall we say. That's actually quite a glitter one. So I don't tend to reach for that one so much, but a little pop, you know, at the end, um, just on your eyelid there is really, really nice. The shimmers are beautiful and the mattes are beautiful i do tend to keep away from the really dark ones um sort of those two there but the rest of them so there's easy a good seven at least that i really really enjoy using so i think when you've got a, a palette of nine different shades there's always going to be some of the shades that you don't actually use but i think that is a beautiful little mix and i'm enjoying it all right next up what's giving me this glow apart from the sunshine no this i am loving at the moment and it's from l'oreal and it's their glam glow bronzer basically it's a cushion bronzer now i have talked about this and another product which i am also going to mention here as well but i'm not going to talk about it heaps here because i've made two sorry one separate video about these two products but i'm loving it absolutely loving it this is a cushion bronzer so there is your bronzer in its little foamy sponge. It's not a cream bronzer, sorry, not a cream bronzer. Powder bronzers, all of the rest of it, you've probably come across powder, you may have used cream. Um, I don't really like cream bronzers too much. I haven't found one that I can kind of blend and enjoy. Um, so I tend to stick to powder, but wanted to give this a little go. So I purchased this actually off of Amazon months ago way back in the winter and if i'm honest i was a little bit scared to use it because i just kind of thought it because it's quite wet product when you pop your brush in i just thought there's going to be too much pro too much product coming out onto my face and i just make a big mess of it and i've had to start my makeup all over again and who's got time for that so i kind of didn't use it for a very long time and then i did and i don't know why why i didn't start using it before because i absolutely love it it gives the right amount of glow right now it might look like i've got rather a lot on but that's just because it's so warm and i'm warm at the moment um but yeah i will link down below the video that i talk about this in a lot more detail along with another product that i'm also going to mention so here. that is my seamlessly seamlessly switch to this product okay so we've moved from makeup now we're going on to skincare and i love this product from kills it's their glow formula skin hydrator i've learned to adapt to use it for me and i keep learning how to use it for me i'm using less and less of an amount i was putting on say half a petit pois size and sort of running rubbing that all over my face um after moisturizing an spf now i'm adding it to my moisturizer and putting a tiny little splodge tiny tiny amount because in this weather we don't want to look too glowy it's nice to have a glow but this product gives you quite a lot of glow so i'm just sort of coming back on it a little bit i think when the weather sort of cools down and we're a nice like you know autumn 15 that will be nice and the glow will be perfect because i won't be making my own glow do you see what i mean this is glowy 
Basically, it's really, really cool as well because we all know about Kiehl's. They're a fantastic skincare range. There's pom pomegranate, pomegranate. I don't even know if I've said that right now. I'm not going to say it again, but there's extract of the pom in this um, and that just gives you this luminosity to your face and takes away the dullness, gives you radiance, all what we want. So I can't rate this enough. And like I say, I'm going to link the video, previous video I made about this product and the bronzer, if you want to know a little bit more about it. Okay, so now we're washing our face and I've been really, really enjoying this. It's a cleansing peel, they call it, in Superdrug, but it's really not a peel. It's like a lotion. It's like a, a lotion that you would put on your hands and wash your face with. Hardly a peel. Um, so yeah, it's Superdrug and it's B Revealed Glycolic Cleansing Peel. Basically, it's a lotion. It's a white lotion. Obviously you'd put a bit more than that on your hand and do it like that. Whoosh, 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 do it like that. You all know how to wash your face. So yeah, I have taken a step back from my marvelous, beautiful, and I'm a bit sad about it actually, my Pixie Glow Tonic, the 5% Glycolic Toner. I use religiously twice a day, easily the last two years definitely helped with any of my pigmentation that I have but then the summer comes and it all flares up again anyway in recent months I've taken a step back because something was aggravating my skin and I put it down to that particular toner so instead of using it twice a day I now use it probably four times a week maybe five times a week four or five times a week but kind of every other day every third day not on a daily basis but I still do like and want the effects from a glycolic product so hence why I picked up this because it's having the same sort of doing the same brightening and lightening that the toner would have done but it's it's gentler because you're kind of washing it off your face immediately obviously the toner stays on your skin so I'm really really enjoying this it's perfect I took it on holiday so I used it morning and night um, so for travel it's just ideal it's nice and secure it's very cheap it's usually on an offer in um, super drug for probably less than four pounds and you get 125 mil in here so really enjoying that one okay i was on the hunt well i wasn't really but this intrigued me so i bought it um it's a daily face cream and it's from l'oreal it's a little pot of goodness and it, as you will see there it says collagen plastered right across it wrinkle decrease i was on the hunt for a collagen face cream i have some beautiful face creams that i'm really really enjoying but nothing is obviously putting any collagen back into my skin that obviously at my age I'm losing rapidly. Um, collagen helps to plump and keeps that firmness in your face that we all lose as we get older. So I was on the hunt for a face cream with collagen in it and this one was looking at me from the shelf. Again it was on an offer. I could not refuse it and it's literally just a little white cream not too heavy actually smells like most sort of face creams if I'm honest and you know it's just a normal face cream there's no SPF in this so you do have to go on with an SPF afterwards but I'll tell you what although it says day cream there's no mention of using it at night I do put it on at night as well because why not I definitely put it on where I I kind of mix actually because I like the benefits of my other night creams that I use um, but then I pop this one on just sort of all around my eye area and along my jawline and on my cheeks pretty much everywhere bar on my nose and my chin and then my other night cream goes on on top but I absolutely love it because when I wake up in the morning I can pretty much guarantee my little fine lines my little crow's feet are softer they're not so obvious obviously they come back through the day because they love me but in the morning if I've used this at night it definitely helps just to sort of smooth out and calm down your little fine lines so really really enjoying this one talking about SPF I need to mention Kiehl's I'm constantly on the hunt for an SPF SPF <laughs> SPF sunscreen that does not give me spots or red blotches okay and I've struggled I've bought about three, three or four over the last sort of six to eight months. 
and they all do that. It might be the weather because I'm wearing it more in the summer and on holiday, but in general terms, they break me out. But I found this one from Kiehl's and it's an ultra light daily UV defense and it's SPF 50. It's quite a runny lotion. So you've got to, you know, loads comes running out, but I love it. I put my moisturizer on and then I go in with this layer and I do put quite a good layer on because obviously if you only put a tiny little bit on your fingers and then rub it all over your face, you're not getting SPF 50 out of it. You'll be lucky if you're getting 10 or 15. So I do put a lovely big old splodge and put it all over my face and down my neck. And then on the backs of your hands, you know, whatever you're exposing. Um, and so far, my skin's fine. So this is definitely one if you're a little bit prone or SPFs just irritate you a little bit. I'm loving this. This one's working for me. That said, I kind of want to mention this one because I brought it up in a video, two or three videos back. I can't actually remember when. I bought these two products when we were on holiday in the Canary Islands and it's from a brand called Biotherm. Not Biotherm, which I had heard of, but Biotherm. I think this brand is owned by L'Oreal. Um, and I picked up their SPF because I didn't think my SPF that I took with me was actually working. It was an SPF 30, but I was still getting tanned. So I wanted to ump my game up a little bit. So I bought this one SPF 50, but it gave me blotches and made me red and gave me spots that I didn't really want. So it was good in a moisturizing sense, but it, I didn't want, I didn't want the spots. So that's why I went in and bought the Kiehl's. But the product that I am loving very much so from this Biotherm range is the Aqua Pure Super Concentrate. And there was three different versions of this giving you different finishes to your face. Um, but I went with this one because it's got the salicylic acid in. I hate saying that word because I always mess it up. And because you may know, if you know anything about skincare, salicylic acid helps with spot prone skin, oily skin basically. So because I was having that problem with the, um, the sunshine and the SPF and not getting on with the SPFs that I was using, I thought, and I haven't actually got any serums with salicylic acid in, so I wanted to try it. And I'm absolutely loving it, guys. I tend to just use it at night because I think it's it's an active ingredient. So having it on your face for what I probably do my skincare before I way before I go to bed. So I wash my face and start my skincare routine probably a couple of hours before actually going to bed if I'm home. Um, and then it's obviously working whilst I sleep, doing its stuff. So it's on my face for a good sort of eight or nine hours, which is really, really nice. And I love it. So I am going to hunt this one down, actually, because I don't think it's in the shops anywhere. So I'm going to hunt it down online when I finish it, because really, really enjoying that one. Right, let's get into some fashion. Not too much, guys. It's just a couple of tops and a pair of shoes. Loving these from H&M. Oops. Sorry, they've got a little heel, but just literally a little heel. And they've got a nice little spongy sole, which is really nice. I hate those sandals that are just flat, like a big lump of cardboard. Um, hate them, so uncomfortable and so bad for my feet. But these, as you can see, are that sort of faux croc style there with the two bands across the top of your toe. I had a little pair of suede mules that I bought last year from Primark that I took on holiday, which you may have seen in a previous video, and they were so comfortable, but they were looking a little bit ratty. So when I saw these in the sale in H&M for, I wanna say nine pounds, seven or nine pound, I can't remember, I picked them up and I've worn them. They, you know, they're that typical when they're that sort of more of a leathery effect. You've just gotta break them in a little bit because that's a little bit sore sometimes, but I've broken them in just literally by wearing them twice and keeping them on around the house a little bit. So I'm absolutely loving those. Next is a top, a little cropped kind of vest top. When I say cropped, it's not cropped up around your midriff or above. It's just literally on your waistband if you've got a pair of jeans, not mom jeans, it comes down under mom jeans. It can just about tuck into a mom jean style. But I picked it up from Zara and you can see the, the shape of it. It's a very boxy vest top, but I love the color of it. I haven't got anything in my wardrobe this color. It's almost like a rusty coral. 
and I love it absolutely love it it looks really nice with the tan because I took it on holiday with me goes pairs really nicely with most colors I wore it and have worn it mainly with black I must say um, but it would look amazing with some white linen trousers as well but yeah absolutely love it I might actually link below as well the video that I've done which was outfits that I wore on holiday and you'll see me wearing that one and also I had to mention one of my favorite shirts which again is going to be in that video because I took this one on holiday and it is literally just a big cotton black shirt you know the classic white linen shirt used as like you know with the, your, your denim shorts that beautiful crisp look of white linen or cotton on holiday and you have it as you know what am I talking about a wrap no not a wrap cover up when you're out in the sun oh I love that look so much well anyway this is my take but in black it's just a long sleeved cotton shirt I picked it up literally like four sizes bigger this is extremely big but if you just want to wear it flowy and open over a dress over a pair of shorts which is what I did on holiday or then just wear it over a bikini in the day slouching about it's perfect you can see it's a tiny bit see-through as well look but I love it beautiful and it was something like nine pound in H&M but I think the what you've got to do if you want that kind of look with the big cotton linen shirt size up big time like I say four sizes bigger and it does the job do you like this shirt I do this is a men's Primark Hawaiian shirt um and I've got shorts on but you can see I just love it I absolutely love thinking outside the box at the moment with my clothes so you know if you want a particular look but you're not getting it from what you're seeing on the shelves and what is being projected to you I'm a size 10 ish depending on where I shop um, but I didn't want a shirt that looked like it fitted me like a size 10 would hence why I bought a size 18 because that's the look I wanted I can't say I've seen any female Hawaiian shirts anywhere in the shops that I've looked at so I had to go outside my box and look in the men's department and found this beautiful lemon blue green and a tiny bit of coral in it absolutely love it so yeah just sort of I like thinking outside the box with your fashion if you can't find what you want in the ladies department go elsewhere go to the boys go to the men's you'll find it I'm sure especially if you kind of like a slightly tomboyish style and not too flowery and floaty and girly which you may know by now is my style okay lifestyle bit of tv bit of book reading tv is just short and sweet killing eve absolutely loving it at the moment didn't really watch too much of the first or the second series never kind of really just got into it knew about it but this series i'm sure it's season three sure it is anyway whichever one's on the tv now on a saturday night here in the uk she is killing it basically not eve yet but if you know about killing eve it's really good at the moment next thing netflix obviously i've got to tell you stranger things three season three um watched and completed it's really cool that series because the episodes are coming in at like about half an hour 35 minutes the last one went on a bit longer but they're so quick and easy to watch loved series one series two was pretty good series three amazing if you haven't watched it why crack on and next last but not least even this book now it's called the tattooist of auschwitz so you would think oh that's a heavy read that's a bit of a depressing read but i took it on holiday with me because i couldn't finish it before we went i really didn't want to sit around the pool reading this book i kind of didn't want to bring the mood down do you know what i mean it's not really a holiday read but I couldn't do anything about it. I couldn't finish it before I went, so I took it. And I was very much like, you know, not showing the back of the book, the cover of the book even. It's sad. Yes, I cried. I learned something. Yes. I desperately wanted to keep reading and to finish it because I wanted to get to the happy ending. If there was going to be one, I needed to get there. Um, the characters you love, all of them, and you want them to survive this awfulness um 
yeah it's it's a love story but it's very sad and i don't want to give away the ending but if if this at all interests you anything like this or you can actually get through a book like this it's definitely definitely worth the read um, it's by Heather Morris. I think I got mine from Amazon, in fairness, because somebody else recommended it on here. Um, yeah, I, I'm not going to say I enjoyed it, because that would not be the right terminology, but I'm glad I read it. Um, and I sort of, yeah, I've relayed a couple of the little scenarios that happened in here to my husband, and then that created a big conversation about world wars and all the rest of it. So, yeah, it's a conversation piece. Um, but if you can stomach a little bit of unpleasantness, read it. But there is a happiness about it as well as the book gets to the end. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed that video. I've found some lovely bits and pieces here. I'm already finding some new bits for next month. So I am looking forward to August. Thank you so much for watching. Click on that subscribe button before you disappear and that would be really cool and I will see you next time. Thank you so much again, guys. Enjoy this beautiful UK weather we're having whilst it lasts and I'll see you next time. Bye.